I have seen Andre and Cindy's love story grow over the past few years. Today they stand before us as they declare their love and devotion to each other. Yet all of us who know them have seen this in their lives every day. Today I thank Cindy for making my Andre so happy and for giving us our Claire and Adrian. Today I take, see, see the little boy that I brought into this world marry the love of his life. Today I see him as a husband and a father and I could not be more proud or happy for him and his beautiful bride. I love you very much. I love you too. Okay. You want to okay. Like I said, I'm not good at speeches, but I'm glad they made it legal. Thank you for, make, thank you for making us grandparents. It keeps grandma busy and out of my hair, what hair I got left. I'm so proud of you to be here with you today and hope your children grow up to be as wonderful as you are. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Um, let me speak for Andre and Cindy. Um, first time I met them, uh, we went actually to Marie Callender's, uh, and of course I love that. But what I found so cute is um, it was quite a new relationship, right? And um, when they were sitting in front of me, you know how some people, they just kind of melt when they're together, like kind of like a, if a relationship that someone's older, and you could just see the love so soon. And I was just, um, I mean, nothing's greater than love, so it, it means a lot to me. As well as, um, I not only get him as a son-in-law, wonderful grandparents. Really, thank you very much. And I'm just so excited, so proud of you, yeah. honey. And, and you always try so hard and get things organized. Yeah. And, and what's funny is I think you do too, so you guys are, you're just meant for each other. And I want to thank you so much, okay? And God bless everyone. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, so, Cindy and I would like to thank you, all of our family and friends, for coming tonight. It means a lot to us having you guys all here on our special day, on a wedding day. All of you, you know, you've been there for us over the years. Uh, you've supported us along the way. And dinner tonight is our way of showing our appreciation to all of you uh, and to thank you all for coming. Uh, you guys may have noticed it was a little bit different style wedding than usual. Uh, we had some changes last minute with a very crazy chaotic life and just getting out of the hospital two days ago with a newborn we didn't really have time to get a wedding license and being the crazy people we are we kind of space getting it beforehand so that led to complications of the ceremony uh, as far as so i, I appreciate go. you all and all of the awkward looks uh, as we held the ceremony uh, for being here with us tonight and supporting us uh kind of on uh, this chaotic way uh so with that i'm going to hand things over to the maid of honor jody parkinson cindy's sister to lead us in a toast Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Walker. you're welcome. All right. No Good evening, everybody. I would just like to say a few words about. I would just like to say a few words about Cindy and Andre. If there is one thing that I could say about Cindy and Andre, it is that I've never known two individuals who are more alike. From their complaints about traffic and the booming city that is Napomo. Just kidding, but they're really kindred spirits. Where shall I begin and what shall I say about the two of you? Well, I'll start from the beginning. I remember the night that I was browsing the interwebs at what we call the Grover Beach House and Cindy comes into the room. Instantly, her curiosity was sparked when she saw a long haired artsy Andre in a paint splattered smock, his gaze right for the camera with a flirtatious smirk. My response was, I don't know, Andre? He goes to my school. He is interested in animation in Pixar. It was my brief and annoying answer to little did I know is where it all began. Sissy started to message him and conversation ensued. Andre at the time was involved in another relationship, but fast forward some time later, um, and then 
<laughs> Cindy had made up her mind to wait for Andre, who wasn't quite yet ready to jump into a relationship. But when my sister wants something, I mean really wants something, <laughs> she will get it. I mean, this is the girl who won a meet and greet contest with her favorite band, Blink-182. When she loves something, it is known. She made the sweetest voice and genuine fangirl video for Blink-182 that was so innocent and a pure way of loving. When she loves, she loves passionately. Anyway, back to them. <laughs> Cindy headed off to Fresno State to get an education in the fine arts, but to her dismay, away from Andre. There was a stalemate in conversation until Andre messaged Cindy, and once again, the playful banter began yet again. Andre visited Cindy in Fresno, and I can distinctly remember a time he let us stay in his small studio apartment after Cindy and I had gone to an Adam Lambert concert oh in San Francisco. Ah, oh, t'was there he introduced us to old Greg. <laughs> <laughs> These lovebirds grew more and more official <laughs> ever since. And Andre said, I guess I'll make it more official as Cindy was leaving to drive back to Fresno. Will you be my girlfriend? And she agreed. After dating for some time and a visit to the happiest place on earth, a very productive visit, a bun was in the oven. Claire, <laughs> it was time to take it to the next level with a romantic walk to Arroyo Grande's village gazebo. Andre's next question was, Cindy, will you marry me? Cindy recalls jumping in excitement and Andre says that she nearly fell to the ground with joy. You see, this is just the beginning of their love story. I know that my sister is truly happy. The look in her eyes tell it all, all smiles from the inside out. And that in itself is a blessing to see my sister love and be loved. I've seen the same look in you, Andre, as I was there makeshift last minute pregnancy and maternity photo shoot <laughs> photog. And the way these two look into each other's eyes, it's endless, infinite. They understand one another. They probably thought I was weird for thanking them because it was such an honor to shoot and witness their love. You have always been role models for me. It's, it's simple, true, and evident. That's the kind of love that bonds you. When you have a beautiful child together, Claire Liliana, and now Adrian Alexander. <laughs> Wherever he is. <laughs> and I witnessed the- He's crying the, in the corner. Yeah, he's crying for me. <laughs> and I witnessed the love evolve from playful banter and a sort of back and forth to romance, and now the strongest love that comes from having a family bond. In their hearts, they have always said they were already married. And today, we just go one step further and make it official, sealing the deal. <laughs> As their family has grown, so do their hearts. They swell because they have so much love to give. On this day, we've all come to witness and celebrate your love, your union and beautiful family. We are all here to support you through whatever trials may arise. All those that are here and for those who cannot be here, let's raise a toast. I'm going to raise this one. <laughs> We're so very proud of you two, <laughs> your family, and are so very happy for you, Cindy and Andre. We love you. Let the festivities continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cheers. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and celebrating this wonderful evening, uniting my brother and his beautiful bride. I've known this guy for 28 years. Um, he uh, really came into my life. No, just kidding. I love him more than anything. Um, we, it's actually really funny, Michelle. Uh, she's amazing, by the way, our photographer. Uh, she, she got here, and she comes in the door, and, and she talks to me. She's as if I'm Andre, and I'm like, I'm his brother. <laughs> Uh, we get that a lot all through high school. People thought we were twins. I don't see it, but just saying. Anyways, um, not a bad thing, but these two, watching them grow together has been amazing. Their love is so true and so pure, and you can see it right here in both of their arms. Claire and Adrian. And this woman, how amazing is she? She gave birth what? two days ago and she's here at her own wedding she is a champion
And this guy wasn't tiny, 9.8 pounds. Yeah. A bundle of love and joy. But this has been an amazing journey for these two. And this is just one step further in their lives together. So I raise a toast to Andre and Cindy and wish them the best happiness and love. Cheers. 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 So Andre gets two groomsmen speeches because uh, it's the kind of person he is. I, I met Andre in the second grade. It's been over 20 years that we've known each other and uh, well, I'm getting emotional. How? That hurts me right in the heart space. <laughs> it's been 20 years since that we've known each other. Um, it's been no secret that for most of Andre's relationships, I have been violently opposed. <laughs> Andre is the type of person who commands loyalty and respect and devotion from his friends who know him and love him. Uh, just meeting him, talking to him, just for a few instants, you feel that, that tug right inside that uh, you can't ignore. He is the best friend I've ever had. Wow. Sorry. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And so it's because of that, that when I'd see him with people that, you know, I or maybe his friends didn't like or didn't approve of it, that fills you with that fire, that deep, no, he's mine. <laughs> he doesn't belong to you and he, you don't deserve him. That feeling of just bitterness is the, uh, that defensive nature that you just you cannot help yourself with him. And then I met Cindy. And old ways be true, I was immediately distrustful because I cannot help myself. Girls are evil. Girls are evil, or so I believed, you know, for a while. So did Andre. So did Andre. And we would text about it, right? Yeah. And within five minutes, I was like, who is this person? And how come Andre found her now? Why couldn't you have found her earlier? Who is this amazing person that he has finally, after so long, found five minutes? And this is coming from a person who is bitter and angry and fiercely loyal and outspoken for the most part about it. Um, it's beautiful to watch them together. It's amazing to see them interact with one another and to see that trust and love build between each other. It's, um, I, someone said it earlier, it's like watching uh, a couple who's been together forever interact with one another. It's, there's nothing more pure and honest that I've seen before. And even as fiercely loyal as I am, um, I couldn't be happier uh, giving my best friend over to Cindy. You are amazing for him, and I am so happy that he found you, finally. Thank you. I'm Danny Tostu. Actually, this brother was the, uh, the, the first brother that I met at the, at the Wall Residence. Um, but it didn't take very long before this brother <laughs> also became arguably my best friend as well. Um, Andre has a heart of gold. And he is completely loyal, completely loving, and just <laughs> such a rock in, uh, in my life and I know in the lives of other people that he's with. And to see him as happy as he is tonight, uh, to hold the family that he has with him right now is just an absolute blessing. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep this short. Not all I'm going to say, Andre, is that having you as a friend has been absolutely great. And to see Ben get married, to get married myself, mm -hmm. and now to have you married is just a testament to where our lives are going in the future. And I can't wait to see how it all plays out um, as we grow old <laughs> with, uh, with our wives mm -hmm. and see our kids grow up, um, um, you know, together in the future at some point. So At some point. No, <laughs> my, my wife is not good. <laughs> Yes. I can see how that could have been misinterpreted. <laughs> yeah. No, I should have said that. But nevertheless, I do want to focus this back to Andre and Cindy and just say, you guys, I am so happy for both of you. Congratulations on today and looking forward to what the future holds. And so cheers to Andre and Cindy, everyone. You're here. Cheers. All right, I'm going to say a little bit about that.
I'm glad to see Andre so happy. And these two little bundles of joy have brought new spark and life to Grandma, to Andre's mother. And uh, we just really appreciate it. And uh, I know it's going to be a tough road, but you guys are going to do good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's about all I can say. But there was one other thing for your wedding. You guys are going to get a trip to Hawaii. But... <laughs> but... <laughs> Mom and I are coming because somebody's <laughs> got to watch your kids so you can go true. play them. <laughs> okay. so that's the only stipulation. Your babysitters come with yeah. you. Yeah. So we'll plan that out. Cheers. 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 Wow. <laughs> Someday, I don't know when, soon. I've known Sin since seventh grade. We met yep. in Mr. Duarte's class. We, what, you sat in front of me? Yep. Huh? And she turned around and she started talking to me. And I was like, okay, you're kind of forward, but all right. <laughs> and uh, every day she kind of, you kind of like made me your friend. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of friends in, in seventh grade. Yeah. And uh, she brought me over and introduced me to other people that she knew. And I don't know, ever since then we've been, we've went through our boy crazy phases and we went through, I don't know, lots of different things. I went through the ball chain necklaces and the spiky oh, yeah. belts yeah. and all that fun stuff nice. yeah. skater shoes yeah. Yeah. and then i remember when she told me she met andre and i'm not gonna lie i didn't think i would like him because <laughs> i didn't really care for the other boyfriends she had <laughs> but oh my. huh oh my. <laughs> no uh, anyway <laughs> uh, but i don't know i got to meet andre and he was just as like when she told me about him, he sounded just as passionate, just as fierce. Like when Cindy has her mind to something, she does it. Nothing stops her. As you can see, she had her wedding. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'm so happy for you guys. You guys are perfect. And I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> you like them now? Yeah, I do. I like you a lot now. You're perfect for each other. And Aww. yeah. So Thank you, you're welcome. I love you. And I don't have a toast, but toast. <laughs> toast. I just spit my food out of you. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry I didn't have anything. That was cute. But I love you. And I love you too.